All right, here's what you need to know as we head to bed. We have a couple of waves of wintry weather, one that starts tonight into your Wednesday and then another one Wednesday night into Thursday. Let's get right to the latest. First and foremost, radar shows activity from Fargo across central portions of Minnesota out towards uh, the points on I-35 between Duluth and Minneapolis, St. Paul. Well, we do see a mixed bag of tricks with the green representing rain. Pinks would be that transition sleet or uh, freezing drizzle and some snow in the blue snow indicated here south of Detroit Lakes. Now, none of this reaching the ground in the FM area. I've seen nothing on our sky cam here nor outside when I was driving to and fro during the dinner hour. That dark blue that you see there to the south of Detroit Lakes could actually be causing a little bit of light snow. Taking a look now, this is at the Dakota Magic Casino camera site, and from time to time we're seeing some rain making its way through the light display there. Your current readings out at Hector, 34 degrees, feels like 27, light winds, so we're above freezing. And I want to highlight the freezing line for you here in white. It's a critical temperature, obviously, this time of the year. It can wreak havoc on forecasts and we're warm enough for mixed precipitation south. Road surfaces, sidewalks and the windshields of your car in Grand Forks, Steep River Falls all frozen. Uh, more likely that precipitation falls in the form of flakiness there. Here is your hour by hour forecast for tonight. First and foremost, uh, the activity that reaches the ground begins to develop out in the Devil's Lake Basin through the central Red River Valley as we go through the overnight hours by the wee hours just pre dawn here. It will mainly be along and north of Interstate 94, both in Minnesota and North Dakota. We'll start our day with a chance of some hit and miss flakes of snow. There could be some light accumulations in some locations north of the interstate. A tenth or two isolated locations in the Devil's Lake Basin could see even a little bit more than that. Now, the first half of your day, it does look for the most part quiet, but we'll be stuck in the soupiness. That means some haze, some fog freezing drizzle and drizzle for our day. The winds fairly light and temperatures warm in the south, but cooler up north throughout the afternoon. Then as we head into the late afternoon, we start to see an increase in north winds with hit and miss areas of snow showers throughout our day. Here's a look at snowfall potential. Very little to none down south. And we could have a tenth to an inch up in Grand Forks, but it's in the Devil's Lake Basin where we could have a little bit more than that. Fargo will have a morning chance for some showers of snow. We'll warm things up into the mid, maybe briefly upper 30s. Then after that, another wave of snow develops. Let's talk about that. Wednesday night into Thursday, a major storm will work its way through. Uh, so Wednesday afternoon, we'll start to see the return of snow out in our western counties as we stay mild here in the south and southeast. Here's what it looks like on the radar, but as we head to bed Wednesday night into Thursday morning, moderate to heavy snow in some places will develop mixed precipitation down south once again. So a slippery Thursday morning. Then the rest of the day, the snow's out of here. The wind moves in and we'll have gusts up to and around 50 miles per hour possible. Fargo to Grand Forks, one to three inches. Isolated areas, uh, there'll be a narrow band that has the potential for three to maybe even six inches of snow. And another very heavy band from Sioux Falls in towards the Twin Cities. All right, here is a look at some swans out there. Maybe this is winter's swan song, we'll see. It does look like a wintry couple of days though as we begin spring with gusty winds and flakes for many. After that cold Friday into Saturday morning and on Sunday, how about that 40 degrees in the 40s look to stick around for a little while. Now, three days of 40 degree weather with nighttime lows there on Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. You see 35 that's above freezing. That's melting all day and all night. So that could begin a little bit more earnest our our melting of our snowpack. All right. Thanks. Hutch. Yeah.